Okay, so good morning. I see people checking in, strolling into class. <laughs> okay, we're gonna give people a little minute to get on line and out of bed. I had a couple of people uh, yesterday message me and say that they can hear the birds in Shavasana, um, which is very sweet. They're like getting, I think they're getting louder every day or else I'm just getting a little quieter and notice it. <laughs> um, they're more than likely looking uh, to make home in my hair that is becoming more nest like day by day. I should brush it. <laughs> okay, okay. So we're gonna start uh, getting into it. Today's practice, um, I've been waiting all week for this. Mm -hmm. We're moving into the area of the heart, okay? So in, uh, and, and you know that all week long, I've been talking about this idea of moving from, or moving into stillness, okay? So everything that we do is coming to this point in the center, this point of stillness, this point of silence. And in yoga, the heart is taught to contain this mystical, silent sound that, just like the uh, constant expansion of the universe, resounds continually. And this vibration is known as Anahata, okay? Anahata Chakra. Um, and it's this profound, unruffled silence. And at the depth of meditation, it is thought, or you can experience this silence, okay? And so this is really what we're moving into today. Um, very peaceful, very calm, but oftentimes it's very difficult to get there, okay? We're gonna be doing a couple of things, pooling prana around the area of the heart, okay? So everything that we're doing is working in this, uh, in this space. We're also going to be uh, using a lot of Jalantada Banda. So I've been speaking about this. I can't go into it too much, okay? But I want to show you what Jalantada Banda is because I know from teaching, some of you guys think it's this, okay? Jalantada Banda is not that, okay? It's actually your chin goes into the neck. So it's like the back, doom, yeah? So you give yourself this very sexy double chin, okay? So it's a seal. And you're cutting energy here at the throat, Jalandara Banda, the seal of the throat. And this prevents prana from moving up, okay? So it helps us to contain prana in the area of the heart, super, super powerful, um, for starting to quieten the mind. And it's really when the mind becomes quiet and starts to return to the heart that this is where we can start to really experience this, this stillness that is purported to be the very foundation of our being, yeah. So, get ready, super exciting. And also, because I did say I was gonna say a little bit of Tantra theory, just to tell you, okay? Two main concepts in Tantra, Shakti and Shiva, okay? Uh, these are two energies, and they're used to describe the following two things. And they are said uh, to meet at different points in the uh, in our body, okay? One of the meeting points is in the area of the heart. And so Shakti is the vehicle through which everything that is alive manifests, okay? That's us, even if you're a man, um, that's the bird singing outside, it's the wind blowing through the leaves, it's a flower opening, it's all life, okay? Everything that moves. And Shiva is said to be the consciousness or the void that holds Shakti, okay? The movement, and the stillness, yeah? And these two in yoga are permanently and perfectly in union with each other. Um, and, and they are in union with us as well. And uh, this union, the recognition of this union opens us to a profound kind of bliss, yeah, that is unimaginable. And, um, uh, and this is always happening in us, it just takes us you know, clearing ourselves enough so that we can recognize this union. And so that's where we're coming to today. We're starting on the ground, okay? So let's go, let's go at it, guys. Um, here we go. So, bending the knees. This is maybe my favorite thing to do ever. The next couple of things that we're gonna be doing. 
really really powerful especially if you experience a lot of uh, stress okay or tension in the body left my bottom up here and if you experience quite a lot of anxiety and so it's this really beautiful way to um what i like to say milk the tissue <laughs> i always find that a little bit funny but it's to really milk the, the, the stress and the toxins out of the tissue that we don't need. So I'm going to ask you to begin with your hands behind your head. You can interlock your fingers at the back of your head and open your elbows out wide. Press the head into the mat and move the shoulders away from the ears. Okay, if your elbows don't sit comfortably on the ground, you could just open the fingers a little bit, okay, until they can, uh, until they can rest a little bit closer but we really want them to be open and resting on the earth. So bend the knees, soles of the feet on the ground. And then beginning to close your eyes and even right now you can begin to feel Jalambada Banda here. Chin is towards the chest, the back of the neck is still long. And as you inhale, start to feel the breath opening across your chest, the collarbones, elbow to elbow, the breath widening. Feel even the rib cage lift, and as you exhale, feel the belly button falling. Inhaling, the chest expands and opens. And exhaling to allow the navel to fall the first 20 minutes or half hour of this practice. If you really um, feel quite a lot of tension, a lot of anxiety in the body, the first 20, 25 minutes of this practice is something that you could do every single day. Super nourishing for the body. for the mind, for your emotions. And so please continue to breathe like this. As you inhale, the breath opens across the chest. Begin to feel the breath pour into the chest cavity, back of the ribs. And again, as you exhale, feel the belly button falling to the back body. And you can even squeeze it in there just a little bit more, the breath leaves. We're gonna very gently start to move now. And so with the breath, exhaling. And so everything, everything now is very, very slow. Keep your hips on the ground the whole time. As you inhale, pick the ribs off the mat. Feel the little arch through the thoracic spine. Feel the chin going into the chest a little bit more. Press into the elbows. As you exhale, drop the ribs, squeeze the navel, and then curl the spine, chin towards the chest, Elbows in, wrapping in around the head, very slowly. Inhaling, drop the head, open the elbows, lift the chest, the ribs. Feel the chest widening, keep the hips down. And then exhale, ribs down, squeeze the navel, curling, lift the shoulders and curl the elbows in around the head. So it's a squeezing in, inhaling. This doesn't have to lift so high, okay? I want you to feel the very gentle, expansion on the inhale and a very gentle compression so really squeezing the breath out of the body even squeezing into the side of the lungs here continue like this please more times like this and so even though the core is working a little bit this is not about the core it's about really the expansion and compression around the chest as you inhale press the elbows in and as you exhale squeezing in Last 
starting like this. And now we'll begin to go a little bit deeper, inhaling. Lift the chest, and as you exhale, same thing again, but pull the right knee to right elbow, squeeze in. So squeezing into the core. Inhale, foot down, elbows down, expand and open the ribs. Exhale, left elbow, left knee. Really the slower you can go here and the deeper you can squeeze into the middle of the body, the better it is, okay? Right side, right elbow, right knee. Left elbow, left knee. Two more times. As you inhale, feel the expansion in the heart. Your awareness continually returning to the area of the chest. A widening and opening. Really good, open the hands now, cactus arms, pause here for a moment. So elbows in line with shoulders, wrists in line with elbows, like goalpost arms, chin towards the chest, back of the neck is long, Jalabella Banda happening. As you inhale, feed the breath across your chest. And as you exhale, squeeze the navel into the back body. And so keep like this now, three more breaths, please with your attention at the area of the heart. And some of you might notice that there is this urge, this kind of fidgetiness, this restlessness. And as I said, as we start to really starve the mind of energy, which is what we're heavily doing in this practice, the mind can kick up. And so keep your attention at the breath. Last time like this, inhale, expand across the chest. And so really, really encourage, feel that widening, that expansion, space for your heart to live in. And as you exhale, squeezing the navel, please bring the feet together, okay? So the soles are still on the ground. The soles of your feet are going to stay on the ground, okay? Ready for this. Now you can interlock the fingers at the back of the neck once more, press the elbows in, keep the soles of the feet on the ground. Now this is really about expanding into the side body. So please drop the knees towards the right. You're gonna lift the left hip and push the hip forward but press the left elbow into the ground, breathing through the side body. And you can even see the left knee lengthening away, the soles of the feet are on the ground. As you exhale, come back to center, pull the belly button. Inhaling, knees to the left, open the right hip forward so you're lifting off the mat, press the right elbow into ground, feel the stretch through the side of the right breast into the armpit, exhale, squeeze the belly button, squeeze it in. Really nice, knees to the left or right, lift the left hip, push the hip forward. So you feel a little bow through the front of the body, press the left elbow in and breathe there. Exhale, come back to center, squeezing in. This is the thing we're doing now the whole time. Inhale, this is the movement, knees to left, right hip rises. Even push the right knee away a little bit extra, press into the elbow. Exhale, squeeze the belly to back body. Really nice, continue please. And so this is again that milking of the tissue. Inhale, soles of the feet stay on the ground. Knees will only get to about 45 degrees here, ladies and gentlemen. Exhale, pull the belly button back to center. Continue super slow with the breath and it should feel delicious. And so here, we're beginning to really open and expand through the core sheath, left abdominal, right abdominal wall, also into the left and right side of the uh, chest area, into the armpits, super powerful in terms of detoxing. Two more times now. I kind of feel like I could stay here now for the rest of the class. Exhale, squeeze the belly button back to center. We want to lift the energy a little bit. And one more time to the right, inhaling. Breathe 
into left side body, exhaling really nice. Take a breath here, inhaling. And again, exhaling, squeeze the navel, inhale, presence in the heart, expanding and opening. And exhaling, some of you may already begin to sense little tingles, especially if you've been with me for the entire week sense of coolness or even heat. Take your last breath like this and then from here please lift the feet, lift the hands, roll yourself up into tabletop. <clears throat> Again same thing here, wrists into the earth or hands into the earth, tops the feet into the mat. So again, stamp them in. A little bit of activity, blues in the legs, inner thighs are lifted to the pelvic floor, feeling that support in the base of the body chin towards the chest, Jalandala Banda, staying here. Chin stays to the chest the whole time. So this is not cat cow. I repeat, this is not cat cow. <laughs> Inhale across the chest. Feel the breath expanding and opening. Again, feel the rib cage opening, opening, widening with the breath. Whoa, there's the heat. Exhale, squeeze the belly button, squeeze the belly button. Please, does anybody feel this right now? So what we're doing is a super slow but super deep purification. Inhale, expand and open the breath across the chest, in and around the rib cage. And again, exhale, squeeze the belly button. If you start to feel like a, a swirling or a whirlpool of heat around the body, you're in a good space right now, especially if you've been with me last week, this week, okay? The more you're here, the more you check in, the more you begin to feel these sensations. And I'll remind you, if you're just checking in for the first or second time, first sensation of this practice, guys, is always numbness. Last time like this, but stay with it. Keep your attention moving into the internal body. Exhale, squeeze the navel to back body. Beautiful. From here, inhale now. And as you exhale, sink the hips, the heels, squeeze the belly, chin to chest. And so now drop the elbows onto the ground, come all the way in. Inhale, tabletop, expand across the breath, across the chest. And again, exhale, sink the hips, the heels, elbows to the earth, chin to chest, little cave of the heart. Inhaling. And again, exhaling. There we go. Inhaling, we're walking into the cave of the heart. And exhaling. I am heating up here like nobody's business. Inhaling. Do you know, I don't know, I know I do this all the time, but I'm always bloody blown away by what I actually feel in this practice. I'm like, whoa, it's magic. Inhaling one last time like this. Really nice and exhale. Those of you who are having a hard time right now are like, what the shit is she going on about? <laughs> no, but um, it, it is a difficult practice. This one in particular to get into exhaling. If the mind is going crazy, please stick with it. Stay with your breath. Your breath is always the pathway in towards the heart. Inhale now, expand and open across the chest. And exhale, chest to the earth, look forward. Please squeeze the elbows into the side body, chest on the ground, like the chest is kissing the earth. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, round the back, squeeze everything. Really good, follow the breath, inhaling. Chest to the earth, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And so power of the breath now, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Last time. Chest of the earth. Really good. Inhale, slide into cobra. Favorite little things here. Press through the tops of the feet. Again, inner thighs take you to the back of the room. Pubic for or pubic bone pressing into the floor like a little button. And feel that pubic bone moves towards the belly button. Again, belly button here has a tendency to press into the mat. So squeeze the belly button into the back body. Hands under the shoulders, elbows in. So squeezing into the side body and lift the hands, lift the chest. Chin stays in everybody. 
Jalandhara Bandha. Inhale now, please, across the chest. Feel that prana, expansion and opening. And exhale, squeeze the belly button, squeeze the belly button, more and more and more, come on. Inhaling across the chest, you're gonna get a little bit hotter. And exhale again, squeeze the belly button, squeeze the belly button, squeeze right in. Really good. Inhaling across the chest. And so the navel in this practice right now is pumping energy to the heart, okay? Like a little water pump, inhaling. And again, exhale. So the squeezing of the navel, imagine pushing everything up towards the chest. Two more times like this, you're still surfing the pose. Exhale, squeeze the navel, squeezing in a tension of the heart. Last time like this, inhaling. And again, exhale. Now stay here, three breaths, full tension in the body. Inhale across the chest. Tops of the feet press down, exhale, squeeze the navel and lift the heart. Inhaling, exhale, squeeze the navel, lift the chest, really good. Last time, inhaling, full tension, squeeze the elbows. Exhale, squeeze and lift, 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 lift. Exhale, slowly lower, slowly lower, slowly lower. Very good, hands on the ground, inhale, table. Exhale, squeeze the navel. Really good, inhale, table. Exhale, tuck the toes. Down dog. Inhale, table. Exhale, sink hips to heels. Really good, inhale, table. Exhale, down dog. As you inhale, awareness of the heart expanding, prana in the chest. And as you exhale, squeeze hips to or sink, hips to heels, belly to the back body. And so again, the pump, two more times like this. Exhale, chin to chest the whole time. And so if the mind is wild, we keep the mind moving into the area of the heart, anchoring into the chest. Inhale like this last time. And exhaling. Really nice. Stay here please, three breaths. Inhale across the chest. You can bend the knees here. Exhale, squeeze the navel in, 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 in. Inhale across the chest. Maybe you feel that little bit of heat now, as always around the chest, around the neck. Flushing to the cheeks, inhaling. And again, exhale, squeezing in, squeezing in. Whew, there we go, bend the knees, hop or walk to the top of the mat. You could take your blocks, have them close by if you want. Inhale, lift up halfway. Bend the knees, exhale, spill the spine, drop the neck, drop the head. Inhale, keep the chin towards the chest now, lift up halfway, breath across the heart. Exhale, squeeze the navel, feeling the breath moving out of the body. Inhale again, chin to chest, lift up halfway. So the chin is gonna to want to lift away, okay? Mind is gonna to want to do everything it can to steal all that energy we're cultivating, pooling around the heart. So again, continuing to quieten, especially if the mind is used to being in control. Inhale, lift the chest. And again, exhale, squeeze the navel. So again, like a pump, pushing all energy to the heart. Two more times, feel that please. Inhale, prana pulls across your chest. And then exhale, squeeze the navel, squeeze the navel please, squeeze the navel. One more time like this, inhaling. And again, exhaling. I feel like my heart has a breath mint in it. <laughs> okay, stay here. Press the palms of the hands down into the earth. Again, take your blocks or your books and bring them underneath your hands. Chin towards your chest, everybody. Stay here. Again, I don't care about your legs being straight. I would like them bent more than straight so that you can keep your belly onto your thighs. That's where our attention is. So we're really trying to affect the body, okay? Keeping that inhale now. Feel the breath in the chest and then exhale, squeeze the navel. Again, inhale, breath in the chest. And then exhale, squeeze the navel. Two more times like this, inhale across your chest. 
a feeling in the back body, exhale, squeeze the navel, chin to chest, energy stays at the heart. Okay, stay here everybody. This is gonna be the first pose where everyone, especially if the mind wants to take control, where you wanna shift, where you wanna wiggle, where you wanna stare at your toes and think, oh God, I wish the places were open and I could get a pedicure. And even try to escape. And so here beginning to cultivate the foundation, the base, and so this is about cultivating a sense of patience. You may begin to feel very deep energy, a dense energy moving up the backs of those backs of our legs. Most often we perceive this as pain. And just go back there and check, is it pain or is it just a little bit uncomfortable, okay? And so allow yourself to stay with this. We're gonna go deeper now into the pose for seven breaths. Inhale, ease in the heart, relax shoulders, neck. And exhale, squeeze the navel, lift the sit bones, go deeper. So I have a pulse. Inhale, ease in the chest. Soften shoulders, soften neck, soften jaw. Exhale, squeeze the navel, go deeper. Lifting sit bones, heels rooting in. Inhale, ease in the chest. Again, soften the area around the heart. Exhale, squeeze the navel, lift the sit bones, go deeper. Four more times. Inhale, ease in the chest. Exhale, go deeper. Stay with me here, ecstasy is coming. Inhale, two more times. Tension at the heart, exhale, squeeze, go deeper. Last time like this. Exhale, squeeze, go deeper. Stay here, three breaths. Important to relax now, inhale. Breath in the body and exhale. Inhale. Even if the mind and body are in a struggle, attention of the breath, gentle and easy. Stay here. And now here, slowly, 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 and I mean slowly, everybody, don't miss the magic. Bend the knees, bend the knees. Now you're gonna roll the spine lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulders towards ears, and this is where you feel it, everybody. Whoa, shoulders away from the ears, chin towards the chest, parallel to the earth, pause, tadasana, Eyes of the elbows forward, palms the hands forward, big toes, bail the big toes, side of the feet rooting into the earth. Activate the body as much as you can. Muscular system supporting the energetic flow. Inhaling, feel the chest expand. Exhale, squeeze the navel. Maybe you feel heat releasing. Exhale, squeezing like a flushing around the body. Maybe you feel the mind quiet. Or again, maybe you feel restless and you're like, what is she talking about? Stay with your breath. Really good. Two more breaths like this. Inhale across the chest. And exhale, squeeze the navel. Inhale across the chest. And again, exhale, squeeze the navel. I'll so say we're adding a little bit of heat first. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Okay, we're gonna move here. So I want you, first of all, to feel chair pose, but we're gonna be moving. When we move, there is a tendency to dump everything here into the low back. So please make sure that the legs, the thighs, the inner thighs and the pelvic floor are really supporting everything here. So pubic bone is towards the navel, belly button drawing to the back body, support the lower back. So feel this, really nice. Now inhale, expand, lift up, rise up, straighten up. Exhale, hands together, prayer position at the heart. We're moving with the breath. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, sitting down, chair pose, squeeze the navel. I want you to fold all the way over the legs. Fold over, fold over, press the breath out. Now inhale to chair pose. Breath opens through the chest. Squeeze the belly to back body. Again, pubic bone to the navel. And inhale, rise up, stand up. 
Exhale, hands together, prayer position of the heart. You're gonna feel a huge amount of heat here. Inhaling, expanding. And so making sure the strength is in the legs. Exhale, squeeze the navel, squeeze the navel. Sitting down, sitting down, folding over, folding over. Fingertips touch the earth. Inhale, chair pose. Stay here, squeeze the belly. Inner thighs lift you, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands together a prayer. If the inner thighs don't lift, the lower back will take the brunt. Inhale, rise up. And so heating up the body, heating up the heart. Exhale, squeezing, pressing the breath out of the body. Fold over, chin to chest, fold over. Inhale, chair pose. Breath expands through the heart. Exhale, squeeze the navel. Strong in the pelvic floor. Inhale, lift and rise from there. Exhale, hands to prayer. Two more times, everyone. Hope you're feeling the heat. Inhaling. And again, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. There she is, the sweat is coming. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Power the thighs, inhale. And exhale. Really good, take a breath in the heart. Inhale here, please. Exhale, hands together, or hands by your side, palms forward to Dasana. Close the eyes. Inhale across your chest. Feel the breath expand and open. And exhale, squeeze the navel, squeeze the navel, squeeze the navel. How are you doing? Close your eyes. Attention and focus within. Inhale, expand the breath in the body. Very nice. And again, exhale, squeeze the navel. And so here, feeling the heat. Inhale again, expand and open breath across chest. And exhale, squeeze the navel, squeeze the navel, squeeze the navel. Really good. Last time like this. And squeeze the navel. Very nice. Inhale, hands up overhead. Exhale, hands together, prayer at the heart. Step the left foot back. Okay, from here, please. Heel toe, that right foot out to the side. Left toe point to the top left corner of the mat. Bend into that front knee just a little bit and pull. Right hip back, left hip forward, okay? From here, you're gonna bring your hands together in prayer position. And again, this is about prana, okay? As you inhale, please, open the chest, open the hands nice and wide, lean forward, chin to chest. Exhale, straighten that right leg just a little bit, hands return to prayer at the heart. Inhaling, lean forward, open the heart, chin to chest. And so feel the chest opening as the hands go back. Exhale, hands return to prayer. Squeeze the navel. Inhale. You have to keep your attention in the area of the chest. As you inhale, feel the breath widen opening across the chest, across the heart, through the arms. And as you exhale, there's a little squeezing in, that compression. Now we're gonna add the breath pauses here. Inhale, hold the breath, pause. Attention at heart. Exhale, hands to prayer, pause. Attention at heart. Continue, inhale, pause mind and the heart. Exhale. Pause. Mind and the heart. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Really good. Inhale. Pause. Stay.
stay here, exhale, pause, attention of the heart, two more times, inhale, Pausing the breath last time. You may start to feel energy in the palms of the hands. Really nice, everybody. Inhale, step to the top of the mat. Hands to prayer, exhaling. Inhale across the chest. Keep the hands in prayer and please feel the beat of your heart. So as I said, this practice is a little bit different than previous times this is all about bringing your attention prana to the heart and so maybe feeling even though we're not moving that much how hot the body is getting how much flow of blood is going through you that you feel the pulse even the density the strength of the pulse in the heart inhale please across your chest and exhale one more time like this, inhaling, and again, exhaling. Inhale, hands up overhead, we're doing the other side. Exhale, hands to prayer and step the left, or sorry, the right foot back. Heel toe, left foot out to the side, okay? Same thing again, pull right hip forward and left hip back. Again, that little bit extra, that upper right thigh is spinning inward. Please kick through that right heel and root it into the ground. Hands together in prayer and watch how you're feeling, okay? Some of you may be in a meditative state already. Some of you may be moving towards it. Some of you may be in a space where you're indifferent, where you're bored, um, where you're struggling, okay? All of these things are also, indifference is a huge thing in the heart, yeah? And so notice how you are and continue to bring your attention there. So again, compassion, everything that you're feeling, the truth in everything that you're feeling. So inhale, lean forward, open the hands. Prana across the chest. Open the chest, hands back, exhale. Hands together in prayer. Straighten the left leg, bring the knee, or bring the belly into back body. Inhale again, lean forward. Heart leading, exhale. Hands to prayer. Chin is always the chest, everybody. Inhale. Exhale. Add the pause, inhale. Pause, mind in the heart, exhale, pause, mind in the heart, inhale, pause, exhale, pause, inhale, it's about training the mind, pause, exhale, Pause. Inhale. Stay here. Pause. Exhale. Attention of the heart. Pause. Inhale. Pause. Exhale. Pause. Maybe you feel the body shaking. Inhale. Two more times. How are you doing? Good. Exhale, really good, stay with me. Inhale. Exhale. Pause, really good, inhale, step to the top of the mat. Exhale, hands together in prayer. Pause here. Tension of the heart, feel the beating. So again, really activating the nervous system, vagus nerve around here, around the neck, and exhaling. Always in and out through the nose, everybody. Please take two more breaths. Observe how you feel. Whether the mind is difficult to focus, or whether you're really in your experience. Sense the presence in the heart. One more breath. Mm. 
Now get ready for the magic. Come onto the ground, no fancy moves today. <clears throat> Soles of the feet on the mat, we're coming into bridge pose, okay? We've been in this pretty much every day this week. Whoa, okay, please, okay, let's take a moment on the ground here. And if you feel that lightness, that freshness in and around the chest, it's only gonna get more. Inhale across your heart. And exhaling, squeeze the belly into back body. Inhale across the heart. Exhale, squeeze into back body. One last time like this, inhaling please. And exhaling, really nice. From here, toes pointing forward, feet pointing forward, and then just lift the hips a little bit off the mat. Interlock the hands underneath the uh, hip bones. I was gonna say underneath the shoulders. Good luck there, <laughs> underneath the sacrum. And then walk the elbows and the shoulders a little bit closer together. And so they really squeeze and pinch the flesh in between the shoulder blades. Chin is towards the chest, John, without a band. If the hips are super high, drop them low just for a moment. Pull the pubic bone towards the belly button, so you're scooping a little bit there. Feel the low back lengthen. And then as you inhale, lift the hips, lift the hips, lift the hips. Press into the big toes and feel this. The knees are moving towards each other, okay? So as that happens, you'll feel the lower back expanding and opening. Now stay here, please. So guys, I need you here, okay? This is where you're going to start to feel everything. Inhale now, push the belly button open. So five breaths, attention on the navel. Exhale, squeeze the belly, squeeze the belly, squeeze the belly. So like a pump, everything is pushing to the heart. Inhale, expand the abdomen. And again, exhale, squeeze the navel, push everything to the heart. Really good. Inhaling, for those of you who are visual, imagine it. Like a pump, pumping water, pumping energy to the chest. Jalandada Banda pulls everything, so the chin to the chest, pulls everything around the heart. Inhale, expanding and opening. And exhale, squeeze the navel. Last time like this, inhale, push the belly button open. And exhale, squeeze the navel. The more you pull the feet towards the hands, the more you're gonna feel this now. Inhale across the chest. And stay here, exhale. Feel that energy flood the whole body. Inhale across the heart, expanding from the inside out. And exhale, like a star bursting through you. Energy opens through arms, legs, head. Inhaling. The center is the heart. Exhale. Really good, two more breaths. Inhale, stay with me. And exhale. Last time like this. And now please, most of you know, the slower you go, the more you feel. Open the hands, really slowly, spill the spine. No rush, upper back, middle back, dripping, lower back. Sacrum, tailbone, chin stays towards the heart, stay here. Again, no windshield wiper of the legs, no pulling of the knees to the chest, please pause here, presence in your heart. Inhaling, the chest opens. Exhaling, the body falls. As you inhale now, feel the breath move from the tailbone to the crown of the head. Pull the breath up the body, and as you exhale, a rippling wave softens, softens, softens. Really nice. Inhaling, tailbone to the crown of the head. So as I always say, if you're moving right now, you're missing the magic. The only thing moving should be the breath. And so Kundalini energy, that freshness in the spine, maybe even a tingling, a sense of orgasmic, blissful energy. Or maybe just a deep sense of quietness, a peacefulness and ease. Please take your last two breaths like this. Inhale, tailbone to crown of head. And exhale, spilling the spine. Last time, inhaling. And exhaling. Now, same thing again we've been doing with the legs. Super powerful today. Bring the hands onto the knees. And so again, like little baskets for the knees, soften the thighs or the calves against the thighs. 
and you're allowing the, the legs to be held by the arms, everybody, okay? Arms are straight, chin is towards the chest. Inhaling now across the heart. And exhale, feel the belly button falling. And so again, staying here, two more breaths, please. Breathe like this, inhale across the chest. And exhale, feel the belly button falling, falling, falling. Really good, we're gonna to begin to move now. And again, I'll remind you, this movement is about the pumping action that pumps energy into the area of the chest. Almost like you're one of those birds that has like a real big breasty, feathery chest, yeah? And this is what you're doing, a pump. Every time is a pump. Stay here, get lost in it. Chin towards chest, inhale across the chest. Exhale, knees towards the heart, feel the abdominals pumping in and up. Inhale, cross the heart. Open the legs away from you, straighten the arms. The arms are the only things moving right now. Exhale, pull the knees to the chest, abdominals pump in and up towards the heart. Inhale, continue like this please. Attention at the heart. Presence at the heart. Inhale. Two more times like this, please. Again, attention to the chest. Staying here, inhaling, keep the feet hovering. Legs are soft, arms are straight. Inhale, please, across your chest. Exhaling, attention of the heart. Inhale, across the chest. Exhale, attention of the heart. Please allow the breath to become so quiet, it is just yours. Please allow both of your ears to hear your breath. Start to sense the presence in the heart. Maybe the pulse through the body. And staying here, I'm gonna invite you now to very slowly and please with your eyes closed, roll to one side of your body or the other. Eyes closed, go into a comfortable seat please. Cross the legs at the shins. And for the beginning, please just bring the wrists to the knees palms the hands facing up. Feel the chin, that gentle fall towards the chest. And please keep your attention in the area of the chest, the presence in the heart. So in 
spirituality today, oftentimes the mind and the heart as are seen as separate things. And in Tantra, the mind is said to have arisen from the heart. And as you begin to move deeper into your practice, and I mean deeper into states of meditation, contemplation, even prayer, these important things to allow the usual calculating mind to return to its source. Even this action, the Jamadara Banda, it's this invitation to allow the mind, this tilting of the head, the mind returning to the heart. So some of you said you wanted to work a little bit more with mudras. And here we're gonna work with Anjani Mudra, something that you do almost every time you practice, but I would that very rarely have the opportunity to really sense the power of it. Anjani Mudra, as I said, it's Shakti Shiva, left side or the left hand aspect of the feminine, right side, right hand aspect of the masculine, Shakti and Shiva, the movement of life and the consciousness that witnesses that holds it all. Coming together to meet at the heart in union, perfectly and permanently residing together. So with your attention at your chest, presence in your heart, in your own time, very slowly with attention, please begin to feel the merging of this. The drawing together of Shakti and Shiva, you can even start with your hands open around the chest, separate from each other, and sensing the energy between the palms of the hands first. Continue to inhale and feel the expansion of the heart. And as you exhale, to feel the coming closer, the returning to center. And then in your own time, rest the hands in prayer at heart, thumbs touching the sternum. And maybe observe the quietness, the gentleness, the comfort. the nurturance that exists in the heart. And so pausing here, please stay eyes closed, eyes closed of the heart, out. And for a little treat, we're going to finish with a mantra, Hanuman Bolo. And so this one, Sita and Ram, Sita being the aspect of Shakti, Ram being the aspect of Shiva. And Hanuman is the breath that brings them back together. And so that um, devotion and that love. Hanuman Bolo. And you're welcome to sing. You're welcome to stay in the presence of the heart. And whatever you're feeling, please, please allow yourself to sit in the sensation of love, devotion for yourself. Yeah? Not very often we get a chance to do this.
heart to the corners of your lips and last thing we do and last thing we always do please pick the corners of your lips up <laughs> corners of the lips up and feel that lightness brightness love shining from the inside out thanking yourself deeply and thanking you hope you have a beautiful day and a beautiful beautiful rest of the week and otherwise I'll see you tomorrow. Bring a towel, we'll do some more stuff with that. Sexy towel dance. And uh, yeah, donation link is in the bio. Much love to everybody. Mwah. <laughs>